So we're less than two minutes away here from the running of the final race on the program. 1,200 the distance, the Kennedys, the flooring and blinds crew handicap. The late scratching of number one, Count Tomozov. Mean Strato Creed is now co-top weight. Number two was near the tail and always at it when ninth last start, but closing sectionals were quick. Looks a horse who will appreciate further. Number three, Walk and Wall, who sat just off them, went down narrowly after looming, ran second. $6.50 today. Strato Creed is $12. 420 Magna Force, who was three wide on a good speed at Ascot and eventually dropped out running 10th. Trial before that at Esperance was good. Star Align, number five, $2.70, the favourite. Just off them. Last start was keen in the run, but went to them quickly and looked progressive when winning. Watto's Fury is 8.50. Rod Brown and Holly Watson combining again here. Was behind the leader, held up, found the line well, went fifth here last time out. Indian Chant got home really strongly late in that same race, many of them coming through that form reference. 8.50, but will be getting back again. Palmer Morenti got home okay last time, $31. Another Demon. $14, a little bit of support there. Only plugged away last time, but is a go-forward horse generally. You know what you're going to get. Bar Trader struggled to land a blow last time, but could improve second up. Thanks, Matt. So, Walk and Wall about to come forward in similar colours to the stable mate. Star Align, both in effectively all yellow drawn in gates one and two and Indian Chant is about to come up another Fernie representative looking for another success on the afternoon winning with a horse a couple of races ago so they're all set now standing well Attendant just rushing in with one out wide. They're racing now. Watto's Fury had a spring-heeled start, is going to lead from Magna Force. It quickly gathers momentum, though, and Magna Force charges through and is now in front of Watto's Fury. And up into third place is Star Align, the inside of Palmer Morenti. Then another demon around Bar Trader. Walk and Wall got back with Strato Creed. And last is Indian Chant. They string out past the 800 metre mark, and it's Magna Force a half length. The outside Watto's Fury. In behind Star Align, the favourite travels well. Then Palmer Morenti, Bar Trader, another demon, Walk and Wall, Strato Creed, and Indian Chant as they come down the side of the course. Magna Force being taken on by Watto's Fury. Fury, who goes up powerfully. Star Align waiting in the wings in third. Two lengths away, Palmer Morenti. Then Bar Trader, who's on the inside, weakening out of it. To the outside, another Demon Strato Creed. Walk and Wall, Indian Chant. So Magna Force kicks a length clear of Watto's Fury. Now Star Align is descending down the outside. Magna Force in front, still a length clear. Star Align getting close, but time is running out, and Magna Force will make virtually all of the running. Defeat Star Star Align, then Watto's Fury, and fourth Strato Cree, then Palmer Morenti, another Demon, Walk and Wall, Indian Chant, and Bar Trader. Number four, the winner, Magna Force. Bounces right back to form here after working like a train last start. Had a much easier run out in front today. Driven out by Lisa Staples has been too good for them. Magna Force, who went off at 4.40 on the fixed. Second up today, that trial at Esperance was really encouraging. A eh? dashing display down there. Found it hard work at Ascot in a hard race after a tough transit. But today, back to a circuit that has served him so, so well in the past. Now six from 13. He has won again here, and it's win number eight at start 24. Such a prolific 
and consistent earner for Trevor Tasker and C. Marino, the Magnus Our We Paris gilding. A five-year-old chestnut with Lisa Staples in the saddle. Defeating five, Sarah Line, who sat just off them but has run out of time. Was getting to the line late. Five-year-old Bay Gelding, Universal Ruler. Lee Norney, D. Martin, A. Ingalls, P. Jackson, B. Armstrong, G. Bowden, L. Chapman and M. Armstrong. Peter Fernie, Michelle Hagley. Then six, Watto's Fury, six-year-old Brown Gelding, So Secret. Liberty Isle, N. Watmore, C. Wood, and D. Grammaticus, Rod Brown, Holly Watson. Then number two, Strato Creed, who was also getting home well from the back. Could well be important of things to come this campaign over longer distances. A six-year-old Bale Brown gelding, Stratum, Holy Faith, D. G. and J. Forrest, Joanne Forrest, Christo Sardellic, it's four, five, six and two in the last. One by one and a half, one ten thirty the time. Winner, Magna Force returns four dollars one eighty. Punters Club blast out in the last. Over number five, Stara Line, one twenty. Two dollars twenty, Watto's reward. The Quinella five fifty, Exactor eleven twenty, Trifecta fifty nine forty, first four, three hundred and thirty seven dollars twenty. And uh, Lisa Staples returns a winner here, saluting the judge on Magna Force. Next meeting here is Anzac Day next Sunday. If you are coming and you want to book in, make sure you do so quickly. They're flying off the ranks, these tickets. So if you are looking at coming down, make sure you do. So a fairly popular first four in the last race there. First and second favourites running the Quinella in the Kennedys, the flooring and blinds crew handicap. Standing by for correct weight. Winners on the program today. Watto's reward took out the first for Rod Brown, Holly Watson. Race number two went to St. Clements, Jeff Eels, Simone Altieri. Race three. Taken out by protected action. Ashley Grace, Holly Watson registered a double there early on. Race number four went the way of Kentucky Love for Patrick Birmingham and Christo Sardellic. Then the fifth was taken out by neat action, Peter Fernie, Michelle Hagley.